Hi everyone, Effie here. Welcome to the Tons Summer 2017 release block hop. I'm so excited to create this anemone bouquet card today. So first off, I started by rose gold embossing the bouquet onto some watercolor paper with our rose gold embossing powder. I only partially embossed my bouquet because I only need that floral part. I end up cutting away the stems because that part is going to be covered by the Marvelous Perfumes, which I use as a vase. And I already went ahead and I embossed the Marvelous Perfumes uh, bottle and the Haute Stacks, which is the stack of books that the vase is going to sit upon. Then I'm just going to start watercoloring my anemones with my Color Burst powders. Uh, for my florals today, I'm using the Peony Color Burst for the petals, and then I use sap green, lemon yellow, and Prussian blue for my leaves. I'm using two fine tip water brushes to watercolor today. I use one brush to apply the color, and then I use a second clean brush to blend the color out. For my anemone petals, I'm using peony color burst. For the leaves, I'll be using sap green, lemon yellow, and then to add a little bit of shading to the leaves, I'll add Prussian blue to the inner edges of the leaves. Now I'm just gonna turn on some music while I finish watercoloring. After I'm done with the florals, I'm going to watercolor my perfume bottle with Prussian Blue Color Burst. Before I actually applied the color, I did wet the area that I wanted to paint with water first so that I get a better blend. For my fashion books, I just watercolored using a combination of sap green and turquoise color burst. And then for the cover, I just uh, mix a little bit of pink and lemon yellow. And then for the top book, I mix a little bit of gray, which I used a zinc marker uh, initially, and then I switched over to indigo color burst. Once I finish watercoloring, I die cut everything using the coordinating dies. Next, I stamped our anemone garden background stamp onto an A2 size navy cardstock panel. And I just prepped that panel with some anti-static powder tool. And to help me get a nice even impression onto the panel, I use a Speedball Baron, which is a tool commonly used in block printing, but it helps me get a really nice even and crisp impression. So after I stamped the cardstock, I spooned on, or rather I poured on some clear embossing powder. I'm using Brutus Monroe. It's really great quality. So after I poured on the powder, I just melted all of that powder with my heat tool. And then I added stitching to the edges of that panel using the largest die in our double stitched large rectangle die set. I already trimmed the stems off of my bouquet off camera, so now I'm just adhering that floral portion onto my perfume bottle, which is going to be my vase for my card today. And then I'm going to adhere the vase onto the books and then pop everything up onto my clear embossed panel. For my sentiment, I'm using one of the banners from our basic banner set, and the actual sentiment is from the 
anemone bouquet set. And what's great about this release is that a lot of the sentiments will fit within the banners. I made sure to coordinate everything. To finish off my card, I added some dewdrops in seven and five millimeter sizes. So thank you all so much for watching this video and for hopping along. For our summer 2017 release, I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. There are giveaways to be had, so make sure you stop by the blog for all that information. And there's tons of inspiration. So thanks for stopping by, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.